It is party time, Mom. Welcome to another episode of the Chad Prather Show. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. It is Monday's Hangover. That's right. It is Monday all over again. But it's just under a different name. It's Tuesday. Let's go, Brandon. FJB. Um, we're here. We're here. I love all these uh, congressmen who are like giving their speeches and, and standing, and then they finish them with "Let's go, Brandon." That's hilarious to me, dude. I, you know, I mean, you got to fight back somehow, right? You know, I was listening to Jim Jordan out of Ohio yesterday, uh, Representative Jim Jordan. And he was like, you know, look, we, at some point in time, we got to basically, I'm, these are my words, not his, we got to fight back. Uh, you know, you, the, if you're going to tweet something, whatever, I mean, tell the truth. Let's get after it. I mean, golly, God, crazy. We're getting hammered. That's why I tell people, buy this book. Am I crazy? An unapologetic patriot takes on the insanity of today's woke world. I don't pull any punches, folks. I give you a few chuckles along the way. Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to talk about? Um, let's see. Uh, the insanity of the world. I, we're we're going to get into a lot of different stuff. Mark's going to fly us into the nether regions of, uh, let's see, we're going to go to New Zealand today. We're going to talk about that. Just Chris is going to have us a TikTok for later. Just when you think the, you know, and, and uh, what do you say? Oh, my God. Don't even, don't even. Did you say trannies? Dude. I can't get over how ugly Rachel Levine is. Like, Levine, whatever. Like, that's... Dude, that's, that's ugly. ugly. That dude makes that an is, ugly chick. Yeah. And let me say this as well. Like, I was thinking about it over this last weekend. Like, I'm going to come out with... I'm going to write a statement at some point in time. But, but look, as long as you keep promoting people that have penises, and you're saying that they're women, and they, they're like the first woman to become this or that, but they still have a penis... That's still a woman. That, that's not, I mean, still a dude. That's not a woman. So those of you out there have been fighting for women's rights, you feminists ought to be up in arms over this. I mean, you marched with vagina hats on your head. You dressed your children up as vaginas. You dressed your wiener dog up and took it for a walk. Which the irony there. Uh, making a wiener dog look like a vagina. Which is exactly what Rachel Levine did, just dressed a wiener up as of, as of anyway. Uh, and whiten your teeth, Admiral. Whiten your teeth. Oh, my God. But no, like, wh- at what point I'm like, you marched in the street. Your Me Too thing was over. You, you were disgusted with men, and you were disgusted with their wieners. You were mad at them. And now you're promoting people. With wieners to take a position and say, oh, look what women have accomplished. That is the ultimate objectification of females. Because what you're saying is that a female is nothing more than the clothes she wears and the breasts on her chest. Because you go out and you get some fake boobs and still have a pecker, and yet you're going to say this is an accomplishment for women? It's not. It's a dude who thinks he's a woman, pretending to be a woman. I promise you. That chick had to hike her skirt up when she stood to pee. But she stood to pee. She did not sit down to pee. <laughs> well, why would you? I mean, unless it's 2 in the morning and you've been drinking. I pee to sitting down sometimes. We're like 2 in the morning when it's just like, oh, I just got to. I'm uh, too lazy. I just do it all the time. Like, why even bother? You just pee? Just pee. <laughs> just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just let her rip. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, uh, well, I've been telling you about Chamonix. I love the Chamonix stuff. Sam- Samantha from Arcadia, California. They're still letting communication come out of California for now. Uh, she's raving about her remarkable results. I love Genucel plant stem cell therapy. I've used it all over my face, under my eyes. It's cleared up the flakiness, even reduced my forehead lines. And someone even asked if, uh, if I had work done. Nope, just Genucel. Uh, Genucel by Chamonix. Uh, I like it because I put it under here, and I also put it under my chin right here because I got my turkey neck, and it oh. kind of yeah, it helps me, right? It makes me look like it gives me fine lines, or it takes away my fine lines, and it makes me smooth like Rachel Levine. Um, fine lines, forehead wrinkles, dark spots, bags, puffiness under your eyes, gone, boom, it disappears right before your eyes. Best of all, guaranteed results in as little as twelve hours. So they'll give you your money back. Can't beat that. Uh, it's that simple. Now 
Get this, Genius Cell has now sold over 1 million products. 1 million. Boy, I'd love to do that. Lots of companies have tried to duplicate them, often imitated, never duplicated, and they fail, folks. It's for both men and women. There's no shame in the game. People all across the country, once they try Genius Cell products, they're going to fall in love with them and buy them over and over and over again. Now you can see the difference yourself today. Get 50% off their most popular packages. Go to G- lovegenucell.com slash watchchad. That is lovegenucell.com slash watchchad. They'll give you 50% off. Uh, listen, uh, the, the customer favorites that are out there, you're going you're gonna to fall in love with a lot of them. They'll give you 50% off. All orders upgraded to free priority shipping from our friends at lovegenucell.com slash watchchad when you order today. Go there now. We'll be right back. Yeah, I had a, I had to wipe my nose. I had a little snot there. It would turn into an icicle because it's so freaking cold in here in Glen Beckland. Golly. I was over there in the, in the studio for News and Why It Matters earlier today, and it was... God, remind you that men do have nipples, Rachel Levine. Well, cut glass. Anyway, so sorry if y'all could see my snot freezing on the tip of my nose. Uh, you know, I'm, I, every now and then I'll, I'll reference uh, uh, what's going on in the stock market and talk about some things that I'm, I'm doing. It was interesting last uh, Thursday and Friday. You know, the Trump, annou- Trump announced, like his media company or whatever announced that they were doing that new social media truth. Uh, which I guarantee it's going to get hacked immediately. Um, and anyway, because people are jackasses. But the digital marketing company who was running that thing, did you see what their stock did on Thursday? Like it opened at $9 a share and it zoomed to like 45 that day. And off hours trading, it went up to like 109 then got as high as 180 So on Friday... There was that one, and there was another one, PHUN, which I think was uh, one of the things that was helping marketing that. PHUN is a stock that used to run at like $300 a share, and it dropped all the way down to like $2 a share, maybe a buck, and the thing ran up. Like, I bought it Friday morning, and it ran up to like $17 from like 2 bucks. Well, it was, but then when it got up there and it started to drop, I couldn't sell it because they froze the trading because they're assholes. This is a rigged deal, man. It's a rigged deal. They don't, they don't want you making money on the market. They really don't. But, like, I've been looking at some of the cryptos that are out there, like the SHIB, the Shiba Inu uh, crypto. That's don't like do that one. Point zero 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 three four whatever. I mean, you know, I think I own, at this point, like, uh, I don't know, God, like 90 billion shares of it. <laughs> I did the same thing too. Like I'm like, get to a penny, baby. Oh, get, you get to, a, to penny. a penny. Uh, and there's a reasonable, good reason to think that is like I think Bitcoin, which is Bitcoin, got up to like sixty-seven thousand. Yeah. Per share the other day, I think it's going to go to like three hundred thousand a share. Yeah. I, I think that no question about it. Eventually, Bitcoin's going to go crazy. Doge is the one to look at. Dogecoin is the one to look. Dogecoin. At. Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Still. Yep. Think so. Yeah. On um, Friday, Elon came out and said that. A large amount of his employees that work for Tesla and work for SpaceX, they own yeah. Doge, and yeah. he called it the people's crypto. Well, he definitely got a special interest in it. I mean, we so, saw that kind of pump and dump thing that happened he that has was there. Let's his, see what Doge. He has his hands on Doge, and he's been working with developers of Doge uh, for a long time now, off the books, and then now on the books – so Doge is the people's crypto. Okay. Well, they're talking about that Shiba Inu is going to start trading on uh, Robinhood here pretty soon. Yes. Um, we'll see. You know, I still hold on to my T- TGGI. I made a lot of money on TGGI, and then, I, and then I sold some, I took some profits on it, but I still own several million shares of it. Uh, it's now trading again below a penny. Mm. Uh, so it's down, but I'm telling you, I think I think the play there, you hold on to that sucker for a long time. Yeah, uh, especially after their their third quarter earnings report comes out and their uh, 8K and their and all that stuff's so a little get a little press on them and boom, 
Uh, anyway, I'm boring you guys with this kind of stuff. This is not boring. I, this I'm is how saying. you free people from the market. I, I really am. Uh, you know, that's free I look thinking. at the shi- shib. I also, I'll tell you another one is that uh, Satama, S A I T A M A. You have to do it through a Coinbase wallet mm-hmm. uh, to do that. I think I bought like, I don't know, it's even cheaper than the Shiba. Uh, I, I own like untold, like a trillion shares. <laughs> no, and I you, don't, but it's a lot. Yeah. And then, like, for that, I, I just threw a hundred bucks. Yeah. And that gets you to like, Two, I mean, why not? Two, two million or two billion coins. Yeah, it's one of those. Just call me Vanderbilt. <laughs> Let's go. Bottom line. I don't know. I, I just love playing with. I love messing with the market a little bit. I love paying attention to it. I, I'm an. I love economy, right? I, I love free market economy and checking it out. But I, it's, it was rigged. I'm telling you, they they stopped the trading on the DWAC and the fun, the PHUN, uh, on Friday because it was doing so much and. Uh, a lot of people think it's because it's Trump's deal, but I, I think it's just because they don't want you making money. Um, how dare we? They didn't want to see another AMC run is what they, or Blockbuster or the GameStop. They didn't want to do it. But trust me, we got that covered. Um, anyway, uh, New Zealand. Let's go to New Zealand for a minute. The uh, Prime Minister of New Zealand, creepy. She's creepy. Uh, she, uh, well, just take a listen to the video. So you basically see it. This is going to be like, well, it's almost like, uh, you probably don't see it like this, the two different classes of people. If you're vaccinated or if you're unvaccinated, you have all these rights. If you are vaccinated... That is what it is. So, yep. Yep. Wow. Two different classes of people. She said that's exactly what it is. Two different classes of people. Um, Yeah. Wow. Those who are vaccinated will be able to move around and use services relatively freely. Businesses will remain open. However, those who do not get vaccinated will face much tougher restrictions they will uh, not be able to gather in groups of up to 10 will not be able to use i'm like who do you think you are like who the hell do you think you are you are you are an appointee you're an elected official somebody put you there and and you think that you have the right to now dictate over you weren't born into anything you're not a privileged person you were put there and you're going to sit there and tell people how they can move around and transact business no, no, no. Y'all don't understand. I mean, these people that, that are so pompous and arrogant, do they honestly, have they never read a history book? Do they know how to spell the word guillotine? Do they have a clue about the French Revolution? Any of that? Uh, you want to play bourgeois? Yeah, I mean, do you understand the blood running in the streets, running through the cracks of the cobblestones? You people, you people going to have your asses handed to you because guess what? Uh, China got a little low-flying missile flying over your head right now. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. See if you can move freely after they drop that little uh, that pinpoint accuracy uh, nuke on your head. Um, oh, she's so proud of herself. Yeah, get vaccinated. If you're still unvaccinated, not only will you be at more risk of catching COVID-19, but many of the freedoms others enjoy will be out of reach. Oh, isn't that good? That the, the nanny state... Uh, no one wants that to happen, but we need to min- No, it's exactly what you want to happen. You, you can't stand the fact that people are free. You, their power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. That's exactly what you want. Um, so officials within the party compared the plan to Squid Game, that, you know, that Netflix show, where contestants compete in games and the losers are executed. There you go. Have you seen it? Yeah. Do you like it? Nah. Mm. It's weird. I it's mean, Korean I TV. It. I don't like watching movies where it's dubbed over. Yeah, me too. You know uh, what I'm saying? Where they got the voices that I it's probably it really in, good if, it, if I understood Korean. I watched it in Korean and then read the subtitles. Read the subtitles. Because I couldn't do the whole voiceover. <laughs> I, I really. I feel like I'm watching Kung Fu Theater. Yeah. You know, from back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, very good. Yes, I see you over there. You are talking to me. Uh-huh. Chris Cruz. Um, anyway, kiss my ass. Uh, <laughs> San Francisco residents, uh, they, don't, they don't feel safe. Shocker. Uh, with crime spiraling out of control, they did a, uh, they're, they're turning to uh, private security to patrol the streets and protect their families. With some saying they don't feel safe in their own neighborhoods. Um, shocker. I mean, you know, I wonder if those people are vaccinated, by the way. 
I wonder if the people taking a dump in your driveway are vaccinated, people stealing your stuff. Um, they say, it's a nice area down here. People are afraid of what's been going on. This person told the TV reporter, said they want a safe place to raise their kids. In the last year, I've had 10 of my clients move out of the city. I'd get the hell out. Listen, if you're, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make a charge to you right here. If you live in a place like that and, you, and you're conservative in any way, shape, or form, move. Get the hell out. Let them have it. Let them have it. There is nothing there that is that precious. Get the hell out. There's 25 what I consider conservative-leaning states left in the United States. Um, there's, there's 25. And the federal government, people say, people say, we don't have the United States anymore. Now, yesterday's clip that I did talking about China, and I talked about how I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud. And if you'll notice, I use what we have historically stood for. I use it in the past tense. We don't, we don't stand for that now. You don't feel, let me, let, me, let me ask you a question. Do you feel united with California? No. Do you feel united with Oregon or Washington State? No. Do you feel united with Illinois? Do you feel united with New York? No. Um, do you feel united with Washington, D.C.? We're not the United States. Get to these conservative countries, uh, these conservative states, and uh, let's go from there. And you know Facebook, you know, uh, uh, you know Facebook resides you know, in a big way. Texas pays more, and I'm going to get the stat on this, but like Texas, we talk about Texas being this big conservative state. Because of Greg Abbott, Texas pays more to Facebook than any other state. Um, I'm going to, at the break, I'm going to look something up. I'm going to share that with you. But that's kind of a shocker, but it's true. Um, we're in a mess, folks. But if you live in a place like San Francisco and you've got any conservative leaning whatsoever, get the hell out. I don't, I don't care where you're, if San Diego, Los Angeles, like these big cities, let them have it. Let them burn themselves down. Let them implode. Get the hell out. Get out of the public school system. Get the hell out. The tree has grown through the house, folks. The only thing to do is, is to cut the tree down, tear the house down, the whole thing. It's just, that's, unless you're willing to live with the tree growing through the middle of your house. That's the, that's the public school system these days. It is a Marxist institution. The fact that they want to have things like critical race theory and push that agenda, that's Marxism. And uh, it's, it's a social. So, so screw it. Big government. I mean, you know, Merrick Garland, he's going to call you as a parent, a domestic terrorist for speaking out and protecting your children. Come on. I mean, give me a break. Let them have it. Let them have it. Let's move to the country. Let's start over. Let's hang out. Let them have their little, let them, let them have their little, uh, their little uh, echo chambers on Twitter, and the whole thing, and, and let them just, let them turn it into a circular firing squad. Because you know what's happening. I mean, the progressives are already attacking the, the leftists, and the leftists don't like the Democrats, and the classical liberals don't understand anything that's going on because they don't recognize their party anymore. Uh, you know, they're, and they're, they're flipping over. I mean, look at guys, the woke guys that we used to make fun of, like Bill Maher, you know, who's coming out, and, and like suddenly he's been red-pilled and making more damn sense than anybody. Because just let them have it. It's a house of cards. And one little breath of common sense will make that house of cards fall down. It is a logical and philosophical fallacy. What they're building it on is going to fail. So, of course, you know, you're going to rely on people like, well, oh, you believe in socialist uh, programs like uh, the police and the post office. No, I, I don't anymore. Because just like this right here, they're hiring private security to protect them. Because when you socialize something, it turns to shit. Read my book, Am I Crazy? It turns to crap. Wokeism is garbage. There's nothing that the social sector does that the private sector can't do better. I had 52 orders lost last week, two weeks ago. 52 orders. Cost me two grand in T-shirts being shipped out. You know why? Post office said, eh, we just lost it. It was one big bag with 52, with 52 packages inside that bag. Their postal bag. They said, we just lost it. Yeah. So then people are like, well, you need to go to UPS and FedEx. Well, you know, if you're willing to pay that, it's like my boy Sean Whalen, lions, lions not sheep. Uh, you know, they were like, oh, we don't like where your shirts come from. Blah, blah. He said, pay me another $250,000. I'll go pick the cotton. I mean, <laughs> what are you going to do? We don't know what to do, man. We've socialized everything. I say, screw it all. I know how to grow tomatoes. 
I don't even like eating tomatoes. I got my preparewithchad.com. I got my Patriot Supply. I got boxes of it. You don't know where it's at, and you can't come get it. And if you try, I'll eat you. <laughs> you think I'm playing. We use Canva Pro every single day uh, for our business, and uh, it's, a, it's a great little thing. It's a design platform that empowers you to create and share stunning content in just a few clicks. So if you're in the marketing thing, you want to sell some stuff, you want to put some, you know, maybe, maybe you want to do something on a Facebook marketing, marketing place. Uh, I don't know, all this stuff. It's amazingly fast. It's fun. Uh, you get thousands of templates that are easy to customize. Start to scratch. Uh, start from scratch. Canva Pro has endless premium fonts, photos, videos, and so much more that add person personality and edge to whatever you're designing. Uh, you've got this whole library of tools and, and features and stuff that just makes it look, makes you look like a pro. Designing together has never been easier. Uh, sharing, editing, commenting in real time. Canva, that's C-A-N-V-A Pro. Canva Pro helps you stay organized on the same page. And on top of team projects, no more misplaced files or tedious back and forth. Plus, you and your teammates can unlock everything Can Canva Pro has to offer for just $12.99 a month. With Canva Pro's content planner, you'll save time planning, creating, and posting social media content to pause, schedule, posts, and edit them at any time. Uh, one of the things, I kept looking at our business, one of our business bank accounts, and I kept seeing Canva show up. And I'd ask Allison, everybody knows Allison, I'd say, what is this? And she'd tell me, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, we can't do without that. We got to have it. Um, and uh, design like a pro with Canva Pro right now. Get a 45-day free extended trial when you use promo code, my promo code. Just go to canva.me slash watch chat. Get your free 45-day extended trial. That's canva, C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash watch chat. Canva.me slash watch chat. We'll be right back. So they had a uh, Vermont public high school that had a drag ball. Yeah, that's everything you think it is. During halftime of the school's homecoming football game, as students and teachers took turns parading in dresses, wigs, and makeup before a decidedly rainbow-hued crowd last Friday. Oh, my God. What is wrong with people? Like, why? Like, what's the deal? What is the deal? I mean, for all things Elton John, what the hell is going on? Uh, things went amazing. Ezra Totten, student leader of the Gender Sexuality Alliance at Burlington High. You know this is the end for America, right? Like, we're done. Like, I don't care what you believe. I'm just telling you the hand of God is being removed from our country. There's no more grace. There is no more mercy. There is no more providence. Uh, it's done. Uh, this, this, and this, we, we're being turned over to a debased mind, folks. Uh, so the stands were completely packed. It was so heartwarming to see. I mean, it, it, that's not normalcy. That's not normalcy. It's okay to be your authentic self. Throw that picture back up there. That, I mean, that's not your normal self. That's a Halloween show. Living your truth. That is not powdered wigs. That's your truth. You went to the costume store. Yeah. God, you're dressing up like Morticia Adams and you say that's your truth? Good God, your truth is ugly. We had some people that were pretty involved in theater come in and talk about how to, to you know, how you put on a persona. I was really hoping to give our students who are both out and the students that were in the stands who were not out a moment to shine. And if, Oh, my God. God. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look out the window to your left, <laughs> and I mean your far left, that is, you'll see receding into the distance the tracks that our country has left behind in the dust. Yes, we've apparently decided or had it decided for us that we're going to aim this country for the side of that big old mountain you see getting closer and closer, and we're going to hit it at full speed because why half-ass it? 
I mean, uh, so high school has long been the breeding ground for just about every species of bad idea. But in days of yore, that particular Petri dish was generally limited to the whispered grandstanding among the student body over wet trays filled with last year's back of the walk in goulash and ranch dressing covered tater tots. It was, in fact, part of the job of the school's teachers and administration at large to dispel bad ideas and keep them from coming to fruition failure to succeed in this was the exception rather than the rule which was why end of the year pranks could be talked about around the campfire for decades to come i still remember many of mine uh it was a we got away with it moment and those moments were rare now we are embroiled in a great civil war of ideas that spans the gamut from the underdeveloped brains of the students all the way to the underdeveloped brains of the fools who were supposed to be watching over them and keeping them from sticking a fork in a wall socket. And there is nothing left that spreads leftism in the world more quickly than stupid people, which is why you have the spectacle of a drag show as the halftime show at a Vermont high school a couple of weeks ago. 30. 30 students and faculty members dressed in drag and put on a show which the fans in the stands unfortunately decided to call a drag ball. I thought a drag ball was what you do in the toilet sometimes when you get older. Uh, Listen, it shows how much I know. Folks, just exactly when did it happen and just because that something pops into your head to do, you should just plow ahead and do it without checking to see if it's appropriate or not. Uh, Because here's what bothers me about this as per our usual arrangement. This is being classified as some wonderful opportunity for people to speak their truth, you know, because the truth gives a shit what you think, but it's absolutely 100% not that. What it is, very clearly, is a message. It's a message to you and to me. We're here, we're filling the blank, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. You see, what the left lacks in brains, they also lack in the idea of tactfully working to change someone's mind. This whole let's have a healthy debate and then think over our own positions to see if they might be wrong thing is for the birds. And as far as uh, they're concerned, uh, buried beneath things like this is a historical and ideological hand holding a gun, and that gun is aimed at you. It's aimed at me. It's aimed at anyone else who wants to get in their way. Folks, the leftist mindset only recognizes things in terms of fear. Fear is the coin of its realm. That's why we even have a word like homophobia, because the left thinks that you only fear and hate what you disagree with. You see where I'm going with this? Huh. Their answer to that perceived fear is, and hate, uh, let's shove it more and more into your face until eventually you bow the knee and worship at the feet of your betters. I know it sounds like I'm drawing this a little thick, but I'm not. Drag shows don't belong at high school functions, period. End of story. If you think they're going to stop there, and I listen, you can't be more wrong about it. The so-called progressive agenda doesn't have an an endpoint in sight. There are no stop signs there. There's no yields. Uh, Utopia is about constant change, constant fear of being unable to change in the way you want. And it's frankly an exhausting way to live life. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm too busy trying to avoid the drag ball. Golly. Ah! God have mercy. I'm glad my kids go to a small town school. I don't know, though. It's everywhere, dude. It's I'm everywhere. You can't get away from it anymore. I'm homeschooling, so. Well, we did. We homeschooled. And I mean, then my son is ranked seventh in the nation in mathematics. It got to a point where we had to get some help. Let's go. But he's That's smarter awesome. than the teachers. That's awesome. So, I mean, this kid, you know, he's doing, he's doing university-level trigonometry and has been since he was in the seventh grade. Are you sure you're the dad? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just making yeah, sure. Yeah, for the last five, six years, he's been ranked in the top ten in the, in the nation. Um, he's a smart kid. It came from you. No, I don't know. <laughs> I think it came from his grandfathers, Ooh, who were both okay. engineering math whizzes. Ah. Um, anyway, this, uh, I mean, he got to a point where it's like, hey, we need some help here, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, we homeschooled until we couldn't homeschool anymore, and we had to get some help, like I said. I don't know, man. Uh, This is it. This is the end. Unless, my dear friends, I am not a person who is 
pessimistic or without hope unless we keep using common sense and st- keep arming ourselves with truth and speaking it into this crazy culture. That's why I wrote that book. Am I crazy? Because the world's gone crazy. The insanity, the asylums are empty, and the insanity's running the streets, and they're creating our policy, and they're making our kids dress up in drag at halftime for the football game. Stupid. So sweet. So sweet. Even a dad said about the halftime show, he explained to them what dressing in drag. So the principal, Lauren McBride, told the AP she heard a dad talking during the game to his two sons who didn't know the drag ball would be the halftime show. I still can't get over the phrase drag ball. Uh, He explained to them what dressing in drag means, and it was like, this is really cool. Oh, kudos, dad. Golf clap. Golf clap. Go chop some wood. Actually, that's what turns you into a tranny. Oh, chopping wood. Hey, nobody wants their private information exposed, shared, or sold online, but unfortunately, it's happening to you and millions of other people every single day. It's time to take your privacy back. That's why my friends at ScoreMaster, who help you add credit score points very fast, have a new feature that empowers you to remove your private information from these websites and stop them from selling in it, selling it permanently, all at the push of a button. Right now, your children's names and where they go to school could be on third-party websites that sell and share your information to anyone and everyone worldwide. ScoreMaster puts a stop to that. Anyone online dating out there? Hey, listen up. Some uh, someone you don't want to see anymore uh, could be a google search away from your front door it's that easy to find your private information online i urge all of my listeners to enroll with scoremaster right now do it right away uh they'll add credit score points fast and most importantly they'll get your privacy back hey one stop shop go to scoremaster.com slash chad that is scoremaster.com slash chad we'll be right back drag ball <laughs> I got to give a shout out to um, my boy Bryson Gray. I've known Bryson for a long time. Bryson's a rapper. He's a conservative dude. He's a pretty outspoken cat. Um, We've done some shows together. And uh, he did a a Let's Go Brandon song. And they banned it on YouTube and Instagram. And um, it's still number one on iTunes. (laughs) So he tweeted about it, right? Is that the tweet? Uh, let's see. Uh, what does it say? We did it. Is that the one? We did it. We did it. Uh, from banned on YouTube to passing Adele on iTunes charts to become the number one song in the country. Uh, he posted to Twitter, stop being afraid of censorship. Stop being afraid. Be canceled. Stand up. Thank you all so much. Keep it going. I need to call him. Congratulate him on that. I'll text him during the break. Uh, good for him. There's power in it. I tell you, you know, whether it's that or um, go get the song, by the way. Even if you don't listen to it, go get the song. Yeah. And, um, and Chad, if you it. go back to that tweet, did you see the top three songs are Let's Go Brandon, <laughs> Adele, Let's Go Brandon Again. Yeah. That says a lot. That says a lot. I know what I'm doing this afternoon. I know what I'm doing. I'm writing a new song. There you go. Um. Dude, it's insane, bro. It's insane. Uh, anyway, I, I just was having thoughts. I was writing a song in my head just then, that quick. That's how, that's how greatness happens. I, I'm gonna, I, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll do it later. It won't be like that stupid TikTok guy yesterday. The pull your Trump signs up. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're banning everything. Um, they said it was being banned for medical misinformation. <laughs> that was the song. It would be a ban for medical misinformation. Uh, what medical misinformation is in a song uh, for Let's Go Brandon? Um, yeah. I, sick of all of this, man. Sick of all of this. Like I said, and I was looking it up during the break. I was looking up the um, how much money. I think, I think we're – forget how much Texas is spending with Facebook every year. i gotta, I got to find that article. I can't remember where I saw that thing. I just saw it this morning. Frustrates me when stuff like that happens. But it was like, I want to say like it was $165 million a year. 
that, that Texas is spending with Facebook, like subsidizing Facebook. I, I don't know. People will misquote me on this stuff, but it's, it's a shit show, bottom line. Um, God bless Texas. Our uh, gubernatorial debate is tomorrow night, Wednesday night. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Um, of course, Greg Abbott won't appear. He won't come. He's not going to do it. He's declined all offers. Uh, but Don Huffines, Alan West, and I'll be there. It sold out in moments, in just minutes, just moments, pow, sold out for, uh, for the live audience. It's me in Decatur, Texas, and they're going to live stream it. I don't have all that information, but it'll be up. I'm sure it'll be on my pages. Uh, go follow Texans for Chad Prather. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> uh, there's so many different things that are out there, man. Um, the, uh, but no, it's... Um, I, uh, I have unofficial, yeah, Texans for Chad Prather 2022. That's the group. Um, I heard from an inside source that I'm doing pretty good in Greg Abbott's polling. Yeah. Underestimate me. That'll be fun. Uh, if you want to donate, and I do need you to donate, prather2022.com. So many people out there saying, oh, you don't have a chance. I'm already moving the needle, baby. We're already making stuff happen. Let's go, Brandon. You see what happens. It's just like when, you know, John Rich, when he released his song, people got behind it, it went to number one. And then uh, Aaron Lewis, his uh, Am I the Only One, went to number one. Because we conservatives get together. We are a powerful force, I'm telling you. Uh, and so guess what? Prather2022.com. Never know what might happen. People are sick of career politicians. If you got any common sense, you'll be sick of it. Somebody said to me last night or the other night at this event that she was like, well, I like Greg Abbott. Why would you run against him? I said, why do you like him? She goes, he took the masks off of us. And I said, he put the masks on you. That's like saying. <laughs> I was going to get crude. But that's like saying, oh, he removed that from my rear end. Well, yeah, he stuck it there to begin with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, you, 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 okay. but Chad, he kept the churches open. <laughs> yeah, he opened them after he shut them. Oh, I hate that line. I yeah. really do. He shut the churches shut down, Shut the people. churches, shut the gyms. People are like, well, I didn't want to go to the gym. Yeah, but you have a constitutional right to honor contracts that you enter into in agreements with other entities. He closed that contract down. It couldn't be honored because of his mandate. That's a constitutional violation. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy. Oh, and I'll be in Lubbock next week, too, uh, on the 4th at Lone Star Shooting Sports, as well as on the 5th at the Buddy Holly. WatchChad.com has the information. Uh, play me a TikTok. Make me feel good. So my teenagers are having a bunch of friends over tonight. And like typical moms, I'm really excited. And I've got a bunch of snacks and other stuff. But here's what I'm really excited about. So this is like our little welcome to our home. Asking that everybody be respectful. Um, we have lots of pets, um, but then down here, letting all their friends know if they ever need a safe place to stay, that this is one. And then I've got name tags for preferred names and pronouns. Mm. And then these little sheets for everybody to use to let us know their preferred name and pronouns and name and pronouns we should use if speaking to their parents in case they're not out. And I'm so excited. That's what she's excited about. That little Johnny is a him, her, him, he, he, him. I don't know. Don't, don't let your kids go to her house. No. Do not let your kids go to that woman's house. She's crazy. Like Hansel and Gretel. She's going to cook them. Don't. It's not a safe space at all. No. It's going to pollute their minds. If your, kid does, if your kid walks in there and doesn't just roll his eyes and leave, like, Mom, I need you to come pick me up because I've entered crazy land. Like, this ain't Oz, Mom. This, these are weird people. Yeah. No. You're like, but you're so intolerant. You're damn straight I'm intolerant. If, 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 like, if my kids are having their friends over, I don't have to get them to read footnotes on a welcome letter to make them feel safe. I'm like, what are you doing? I mean, are, are you just automatically assuming that these kids are coming out of some abusive, re abusive home situation? That they've got a safe space they can come in there and, and what? Golly. So many things I want to say that I can't say, Chris, because I get in trouble. No. No. I just, it's so stupid, this world we're living in. And let me tell you what's coming next. Let me tell you what's coming next. You talk about the churches. Let me tell you what's coming next. 
how long before they start putting pronouns, preferred pronouns on, on like your name tags when you go to church and stuff? It's coming, dude. It's coming. You know why? Because we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't believe the gospel anymore. We don't believe in persecution. We don't believe in, in opposition to the things we say. We're too thin-skinned. Watch what happens. The church is going woke, too. I, I, like, I, I, all of our institutions are gone. The home has been invaded. Marriage has been invaded. Uh, parenting has been invaded. Educational systems, they were invaded a long time ago. The church has been invaded. Everything. Shut it all down. Shut it all down. Screw it. Start over. Hit, let's, let's unplug the computer. And reset. I mean, you know, we want to talk about the Great Reset. Let's reset it. Let's just take our money and go home. I tell you what, dude. Do not buy. Screw Santa Claus. Do not buy anything for Christmas. Don't do it. Let's let like nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm not doing it. Give my kids a subscription to Tack Pack or something. <laughs> Some stuff that they can use. Stuff that they can use when the shit goes to hell. You know. Yeah, teach them how to how deep to bury a body. Let, let, let's get practical at this point. Oh my God, dude, how to how to you know teach my kids how to you know? <laughs> Ugh, crazy this kind of stuff. I'm so excited. This is the part that has me so excited. Like we have snacks and we have soda pops and we're gonna watch some fun movies and stuff and we're just gonna stay up all night and ooh, we're gonna have a party and we're gonna make sure that everybody knows that it's a he him. That little Johnny's a he him. I wonder what movies are we watching that night. Oh my god! Or, I can only imagine. We're probably the, watching The Handmaid's Tale. What happened to the good old days of just a sleepover? Like parents were not that involved. Yeah, I hope that kid would come to the come to the party wearing a Let's Go Brandon shirt. And that's what I was thinking. I said, like, "What if I I use pronouns? What is it? That she it? <laughs> the she it? Yeah. What I if want it, those are my pronouns. Those I are have my a shirt pronouns. at WatchChad.com. The yeah. she it." Okay. I love it. It's my Is favorite Is she going to comply? The she it. I mean, yeah. Why not? I have people say, well, the is not a pronoun. The she it. I can identify as whatever I want to. This is a postmodern society. Hey, existentialism, it can't be defined. So what? I'm just interpreting my truth. Don't, don't mess with my truth. If I want to drag my balls and I want to be the she it, if I want to drag my balls through the she it, I can do that. If I can have a drag ball through the she it, that's the world we're living in. I, I just want to go to that mom's house. I'll be right back. I'm going to the woods. I'm going to hide out. I'm going to build me a little cabin somewhere. Booby trap the whole thing. Uh, I say that to people all the time. I'm like, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. I'm going to go hide out. I'm not going to be on like a thousand acres like Glenn is. Beck, you know. I'm going um, I'm, I'm to I'm, I'm gonna live on the back side of Glenn's thousand acres. He won't even know I'm there. <laughs> Just go hide out. Um, ugh, it's insanity. Uh, going to be in Lubbock, don't forget. Check it out, watchchad.com. Got a bunch of stuff coming up. Not to mention our Christmas shows that are going to be both in Arlington, Texas and at Houston, watchchad.com has the information. Um, leave us a four star, I mean a five star. Uh, see how mediocre I'm feeling right there? Leave us, leave us a five star rating. That's where the world's gone. We're down to four stars. Uh, five star rating and review where podcasts are offered. A gentle warrior, 01. Chad is just freaking awesome. Thank you. My dad introduced me to Chad a few years ago when he was just doing videos in his truck, and I've been tuning in ever since. I love listening to the podcast while I'm at work and sincerely. Want to see him win his gubernatorial run. I've always wanted to move to Texas, and I'd love to have him as my governor when I do. Well, come on. Bring it on. Welcome me with open arms, unlike the current guy who keeps opening the door to uh, Silicon Valley and their woke ideologies. Let's go, Brandon. I bet those kids at that sleepover weren't listening to, uh, to uh, <laughs> Bryson Gray's songs. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night for Hump Day. And uh, go to chatonblaze.com. We love you. God bless you. We'll talk to you later on. Let's go, Brandon. Bye.